Hey there, in this video I'm just going to show you how to install the Genesis Framework in a child theme. So you get your password and username from Bluehost emailed to you, just grab that information. You end up in the dashboard, there's a few other things I set up, I'll do it in another video, but in this video I'll just stick to installing Genesis, it's a two-step process, it's really simple though. But you do want to follow it in order. So you'll have some uh, default themes and they're free stuff. You want to add a new theme. And the Genesis Framework is by Studio Press. It, uh, it's not a free theme. And we'll go to Upload. And So the order is you want to do the Genesis Framework first and then the the child theme. Don't do the child theme first. All right. So the Genesis Framework is what we'll put on first. This is my Studio Press uh, folder. There we go, install now, and finally just activate it. So you'll see here that Genesis is active, says so active, but we need the child theme. So we'll just do that process one more time and we'll install the child theme. You keep the zip files as zip, you don't have to unzip the themes when you download them from Studio Press. 1140 Pro, that's what we want, it's right here. And again, same process. And finally, activate and give it a sec. We're done. So Genesis is active and our child theme is active. The uh, next video will step you through some of the basic setup stuff I do. And then I got another video that's going to show you exactly why uh, the features and the layout and some of the specifications of 1140 are so ideal for display ads because like, it doesn't look like much. Uh, I just missed this theme for a long time. So watch that video, see why I like it so much for uh, display ads, particularly AdSense, Media.net, and other, other display ad networks.